Hi, this is Mayor Dwayne Warren, and I am in Orange Park in the city of Orange Township. This week, we usually be getting ready to celebrate the Caribbean Day Festival right here in back of me, but coronavirus has interrupted this year, but not totally, because we are going to have a highlight reel of past festivals so that we can look back with pride and look forward to the time that we can all come together to celebrate our cultures through food, music, dance, and through fellowship. So please, Stand by and wait for what promises to be a highlight reel that you won't forget, but it'll make you think about 2021 when we bring back the Caribbean Festival, because by then, I know we would have beat the coronavirus.
come, 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 come. What's your name? Milan. Where are you from? Trinidad. Trinidad is in the house. How old are you? I'm 11. You having fun? Yes. Having fun, even the kids, right here in Orange, Orange Park Caribbean Fest. I'm at the Jerkin' Truck with Trevor Jerkin' Chicken, real Jamaican jerk, here in Orange Caribbean Fest 2019. Come out, get your eats on, get your cooks on. Here's where it's at, the original. Where are we really from? Barbados. Bahamas. Barbados, Bahamas, in the house. Your name? Q. What are you doing out here? I'm enjoying the festivities, the music, a lot, a lot, lots and lots of food options out here. Yes. Where are you from? Maryland originally, but I live out here in Jersey now. And where are you Maryland really from? Guyanese. Guyanese community is out in full force. Come on out and join us. Caribbean Fest, City of Orange Township. Young, old, family, everybody's here. The baby's here. Young lady, what's your name? Pablo. Where are you from? Trinidad. Trinidad is in the house. Who are you with? Who am I with here? Yeah, who's out here with you? All my family, I'm my son and my daughter. Wait, this your brother or you? My son. Wow. Wow, you from Trinidad? Yes, in Trinidad, it doesn't crack either. Come on out here to the Caribbean Fest. We're doing it big time with the family and friends. There's even room for babies, right? I'm out here at the Caribbean Fest 2019. What's your name? Huh? Kendra. What have you been doing? Drinking. Drinking what? Okay, thank you very much. Ribbon Fest 2019, City of Orange Township. What's your name, lady? Hi. Drinking. Okay, we are over and out. Come on out. Ribbon Fest 2019. They're trying to get the man to drink some juice. I said no juice today. Ribbon Fest 2019. What's your name, sir? Uh, not Ron. Who are you out here with? Uh, my son and my cousin. And your cousin? Where are you from? Uh, Dominica and Guyana. Dominica and Guyana are in the house representing, making sure our cultures are strong. You gonna dance today? Uh, I might vibe out a little bit. I'm more, I play the background mostly, so I might vibe out a little bit. What's your name? Sharon. We're great. Seven. Are you doing well in school? Yeah. Where are you from? What country are you from? America. Yeah. I'm from Haiti. Haiti is in the house. What's your name? Anaya. What grade are you in there? Fifth. Where are you from? Uh, Puerto Rico. Haiti, Puerto Rico. The Caribbean is here in orange. I'm out here with our councilman, Kerry Coley, on the scene right out here in the park, Caribbean Festival. Sir, why is this so important to you? You know, this is just a great day for families and all cultures to get together and celebrate orange. I tell you, I've been orange here my whole life. Orange just has always been a huge melting pot. And look at it today. It's just a beautiful, sunshiny day, and everybody's having a great time. Out here with the mayor, Brother. putting together a great, great event. And I'm glad that we've repositioned the stage. That's right. And, and we're maximizing the uh, usefulness right. of the park. That's right. Great idea. Maximizing the park, bringing the people out, getting us all together. What better can you ask for? Come on down to the Caribbean Fest, City of Orange Township. I am at Sunsplash Restaurant right here at 56 Main Street in the city of Orange Township. Ordinarily, you would smell their food, see their smiling faces, and eat their food at the Caribbean Festival in the city of Orange Township at Orange Park. But this year, as you can see with this mask, we can't celebrate our Caribbean Day Festival. However, I did want to come and show some of the good food and some of the good smiles at Sunsplash. Who do we have here? 
I am Tanisha. <laughs> I'm Diana. And just want to get you a close look at some of the delicious edibles that you can get right here at Sunsplash. We have kalalu. We have aki and saltfish. It's very good. We have the idol aki. If you don't eat fish or meat, we have the vegans. You could have. We have idol stew. It's just pure vegetables. And we have saltfish with the beans. Nice. Yes, and we have the plain salt fish, we have the herring, and we also have the rondon mackerel, it's very good. We have liver, and we have kidney, fried dumplings, salt fish fritters, we have boiled dumpling, yam, and banana, dashi, and potato. Thank you. And also the juice bar is over that side. So come on down and eat. Let me take you over to the juice bar side where you can get all your health needs taken care of. They have a smorgasbord of good drinks. Uh, young lady, what do we have? So we have, normally we would have the very green, the smoothie, the very green smoothie. So we have the very green smoothie. The banana punch. The banana punch. The all berry smoothie. All berry smoothie. The power punch for those who are looking to pack a lot of energy. And the power punch is uh, juice for the men. And the blue banana. Yeah. Now, all you men who may be struggling, the power punch is for you. Is that right? That's right. That's right. So come on down to Sunsplash. Uh, celebrate Caribbean Day by coming down to the restaurants, having something to eat having some delicious drink, and make sure you leave with a smile. It's me, your girl, Tiana, and I'm here at the Hair So Fab booth at the Orange Caribbean Heritage Festival with Ivy and Amani. And how long have you guys been coming to the festival? This is our first year at the festival. First time here, first time. And how are you guys enjoying it? Well, we're enjoying it so far. We have a lot of visitors at the booth, so it's really good. Yeah, I like the people, the environment. It's very nice. It's a very fun festival. You definitely want to come on out and try it. You want to come see? Yes, definitely. Come on out. Do you guys have Caribbean heritage in your blood? Yes, I'm from Jamaica. Oh, what part? Clarendon. And what about you? No, not at all, but I'm still down for it. I'm still for it. I'm for it. Well, you look great. So is this your company? I am the general manager of the company. The company has been in business for eight years. Um, we have three locations, one in Orange and Main Street, and we have one downtown Newark and Market Street, and one on Rogers Avenue in Brooklyn, and we have an online store. Our company is the Louis Vuitton of hair. Oh, wow. We cater to Cardi B, Taraji, Rihanna wore our hair to the Grammys, and a lot of celebrities, we are the go-to. So, you know, we're really, Really proud. And you know black women love their hair. Yes, <laughs> that is true. So the owner, the founder of the company actually started the company because it's it wasn't that much black owned hair company. And you know, you go into regular beauty supplies, one of the biggest issues is how you're treated and we definitely want to feel loved and that's the the um the atmosphere that we offer here so far. So when you go in, you get that customer service that you feel, you know, like you're welcome. So we we pride we, have, we pride on customer service. And what kind of hair do you guys sell? We have virgin hair. Um, we we cater to everyone. So we have a luxury brand and a chic collection, which is more affordable. So today, because we have a sale going on, the chic collection starts at 35 per bundle. Luxury starts at 55. And we have um, bob wigs today for $100. And full lace wigs starting at 225. So, you know, we try to meet everyone's expectations because we know not everybody can afford the expensive, but some people want to look nice no matter how much you can afford, right? So we try to cater to everyone. Hi, I'm Mayor Dwayne Warren, and we are at Golden Crust right here on Main Street in the city of Orange Township. Golden Crust is a big supporter of the Caribbean Day Festival. We would be having the festival this week, but coronavirus stopped us just a little bit. But I want this to be part of the highlight reel because this place has become an institution of support and a city partner. So I wanted to highlight all of their good works. Whatever you need here at Golden Crust, they have it. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm going to get my plate filled up and make sure that we have everything that we need 
Come on in and take a look at all of the great food that they have. It'll make your mouth water. It'll make you want to come on down to Golden Crust right here on Main Street in the city of Orange Township. I want to thank them for being a community partner. Happy Caribbean Day Festival Week here in the city of Orange Township. And we are here with Bernadette from Trini Delights. So how are you doing, Bernadette? Everything is fine, thank you. So we're seeing that you have a lot of great business here with Trini Delights. And um, how, are you, how many years have you been here at the festival? Five years. Oh, that's amazing. So what do you think is the most popular thing that people are attracted to here? The roti, the polori, and the doubles. Oh, that's great. And we see that you're representing Trinidad. And what part of Trinidad are you from? I'm from California, central Trinidad. So we see here the food must be amazing. You guys have such a long line the entire time that we've been here. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we see here you got some curry chicken cooking over here. Yeah, the young lady. I have my girlfriend. She's helping me. And then I have my other friends from church, they help me also. So I give them something, you know, whatever comes out of the profit. But they help me. So, the, so uh, where can we, else can we find Trini the Lights besides here at the festival? I do this in the summertime, that's okay. it, for all of what's in the festival. So you guys can find Trini the Lights at all of the Caribbean festivals in the area. That's amazing, all summer. So, Okay, Bernadette, so where else can people reach you besides okay. the festival? I work for University Hospital Human Resources, and my number is 973-207-2593. Hi, I'm Mayor Dwayne Warren. I'm here at Sarah Cafe, Trinidad, Trinidad Cuisine, right here on Central Avenue. This normally would be Caribbean Day Festival Week, but since we can't celebrate, we're going to come out to the restaurants, show them our appreciation, and invite you to come on inside. They say it's the best in town. If you look on the wall, you'll see how they've supported Caribbean Day festivals throughout the city of Orange Township in years gone by. Today, coronavirus has stopped us just a little bit, but we're gonna go on the road and have our own Caribbean Day celebration. And I wanted to come and honor one of the restaurants that has been supportive of Caribbean Day, the Caribbean Day Festival, all of their good food, all of their good smiles, and mostly their dedication to the culture. Here we are, Central Avenue, 454, Sarah Cafe, Trinabago, Trinidad Cuisine. This is Mayor Warren, and I'm at Danny's Restaurant right here at 60 Park Street in the city of Orange Township. Danny is a big supporter of the Caribbean Day Festival in Orange. We will be celebrating the Caribbean Day Festival this week, but for coronavirus. But they didn't stop us because we're going on the road to show you the food, the taste, and the smiles of the Caribbean Day Festival here in the city of Orange Township. Come on in. They specialize in Haitian food. It is gourmet. I want to bring you back to the family of Danny's who's keeping it all together this morning. Yes, young lady, what's your name? Bernadette. And who are you? Um, Danny's sister. The sister, you help operate the operations here? Sick. And you help, and you help run the operation here? Yeah. Now, normally we would have Caribbean Day Festival this week and your food would be on display. Tell us some of the things that you guys specialize in. Oh, the special half. Uh, I have a, um, I make a food for everybody. I have a Caribbean food for everybody. American, Spanish, African, Haitian, for everybody. But everybody like my food. Everybody likes her food. She does it for everybody, the entire diaspora. Here's where you have Danny's. Come on down to 60 Park Street, wine, dine, and meet our gracious host. This is Caribbean Day Festival Week in the city of Orange Township, 2020. I'm at Benny's Market right here on 66 Park Street in the city of Orange Township. I'm here with the owner. Sir, tell us what your name is and tell us how long you've been supporting this community. Well, actually, my name is Ashman Green. I've been in this community for like 40 years, over 40 years, yeah. And year in and year out, when it's time for Caribbean Day celebration, they come right to you for support and you give it automatically. Why is that so important? Yeah, because people, you know, believe in me and, you know, I do a job, good job in this city. Doing a good job in the cities right here at Benny's Market, 66 Park Street. Come on down. We want to thank you for all the support you've given us over the years. Happy Caribbean Day Festival Week here in the city of Orange Township. Welcome back to Cross Caribbean Countdown. It's me, your girl, Tiana, and I'm here with Gary. And he's the 
owner of the Island Boy Coconut and Sugarcane Juice booth, right? Correct. And how many years have you been coming here? This is my first year actually and I really like it. I'm happy I'm coming back again next year and every year after. And where are you repping? Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida. And um, do you have any Caribbean blood? 100% Guyanese. Oh, what part? All boy song, George song. George song, yeah. yes. Okay, and um, do you usually sell coconuts in Guyana? Coconuts are sold in every island. Every everywhere, island. everywhere. And what's your favorite thing about coconuts? The coconut water, then you eat the jelly. It's delicious. It's simply delicious. And it's natural. Yes, it is. Jelly. Jelly. This is the coconut jelly. It's delicious. Ah. And you guys here, the crew, get to take one with you each. Oh, thank you so much. Is it sweet? I've never had coconut it's jelly delicious. before. If you if you ate almond joy, you would love coconut, okay? Because this is this is almond joy right here, you guys. This is what it's made of, right here. The pure thing. That's right. So Gary, can you show me how to crack a coconut open and eat it? Of course. Wow, that looks like it takes a lot of strength. You make it look easy. You got one for me? Here goes my coconut. I cannot wait. I am thirsty, it is hot out here. Yes, I am ready for my first coconut. Here goes, Tempo family. Mm. Oh my gosh, the taste is amazing. The flavor is bursting in my mouth. And you can only get it here at the Island Boy Coconut booth. Hi, this is Mayor Warren. I'm at Dominican Prestige and Style right here on Central Avenue. I'm here with the proprietor. Ma'am, what's your name? Anna Arnett. Now, where are we? What's the address here? 105 Central Avenue, Orange, New Jersey. And what do we do at 105 Central Avenue, Orange, New Jersey at Dominican Prestige and Style? We work with our community and make everybody look beautiful and be comfortable. Um, we try to make um, an ambience that everybody feel comfortable and where black lives matter too. That's all right. Yeah. Now you normally would have been preparing to get people beautiful to go to the Caribbean Day Festival. Um, how are people showing their appreciation about being Caribbean and about celebrating the culture? They are very uh, proud of their community and also their heritage. And you got a young man working with you. How does he come on board? He's my son-in-law. <laughs> does he know how to do hair? Well, not really, but if he keeps around, we'll make his hair grow. <laughs> everybody, everybody <laughs> around this place comes out looking more and more beautiful. That's why I stopped in. But no, I really stopped in because this is celebrating um, the culture and the spirit of the Caribbean Day here in the city of Orange Township. Uh, welcome. Thank you for all that you do. Hi, this is Mayor Warren right outside of Alta Free Thai Restaurant, one of the contributors to the Caribbean Day Festival that normally would be happening here in the city of Orange Township. We reach out now just to reflect back on those who contributed and those who partnered with our community to make sure that the Caribbean culture is celebrated, lifted, and we remain in fellowship. If you want a taste of Haiti, this is where you have to come. It's an establishment that has supported the Caribbean Day Festival throughout the years, and now they're here for us to say thank you for their support and for continuing the rich culture of the Caribbean. Sir, what's your name? My name is Smith. And what's the name of your restaurant? Alta Futai. Where are you located? Look at it in South Essex, 177. 177 South Essex, right here in the city of Orange Township. What's your specialty in your foods? And we have um, we have got some good Haitian food. We have lalo, legume, free time. You've heard the menu. It should make your mouth water already. If you don't see the place, you'll certainly get the aroma of good cooking in the back. Just want to give you a sample of what they do here on a regular and daily basis. Okay, what do we have here? Come on in, young lady. Come on in. 
we made sure that we got a platter from the chef in the back. What's your name? My name is Alta. And what do you do here? Uh, cooking. And do you work with this young man to make sure we have great cuisine? Yes. Tell me what we have here. We got, on, we got a fried plantain. Fried plantain? Yeah, this is fried pork. Fried we call, pork. We call grillo. Nice. This is a spicy thing. This is called pickles. Nice. That's fried chicken. Nice. Fried turkey. This is uh, something you make it with flowers. We call it marinade. This marinade. is aka, you make it with malanga. Oh. You make it this one with malanga. There you have it. It's a smorgasbord of good food. Um, tell me what the Caribbean Day Festival has meant to you in terms of us celebrating the culture. It's, it's, it's been good. It's been good. Okay. It's been, we've, been, we've been in business for, right now, for one year now. And things have been going well? Yeah, business has been good. Since the pandemic is, is upside down right now, it's been picking up right now. New business, working hard to make sure they can grow right here in the city of Orange Township. This is how we celebrate our culture, by making sure that we patronize the businesses, that we shop locally, and that we support each other. Thank you for all that you do. We have the owner you've heard from Smith, but now the second generation is here to make sure that this business thrives forever. Um, I want you to just lay out for us all of the things that are available. I know you may do catering. I know you do special uh, dishes on certain days. Please lay out for us so we all know why we need to come to Alta Frita on South Essex 177. Um, well, you guys should come out because we cater, we cater to everything. We have rice and beans. We have white rice on Sundays. The specials, we have black rice, everybody's favorite. And we serve everything from fish to turkey to fried pork, anything you'd like we have. We have legumes, which is vegetables. Anything you would like, just come down here, you'll get it and it'll be amazing. And we cater. You guys need parties, you want a little bit of spice of Caribbean or whatever, you come down here to Alta Frita and you'll get exactly that. Uh, you come here down to 177 South Access Ave and order whatever you would like. And I'm here at the Caribbean Heritage Festival in Orange, New Jersey. Now I am starving. We've been here for a little while and I smelled something delicious. I had to check it out. We're at Caribbean Queen and I'm here with the two owners. Denise and Sophia. And how long have you ladies been coming to the festival? Well, actually this is our first year. Your first year? Yeah. And how are you guys enjoying it? We're having fun. <laughs> And where does the name Queen, Caribbean Queen, come from? Oh, we're queens. Beautiful. Now I see that you have a lot of traditional Caribbean food here. Which one is the most popular? In your opinion. Jerk chicken. The oxtail. <laughs> Jerk chicken and oxtail. And what's your personal favorite? Jerk chicken. <laughs> Mine is the curry chicken. The curry chicken. And in your opinion, what is the magical touch that you but ladies both share? <laughs> love. Love. Peace and unity. We cook for more peace and unity and we cook with love. We cook just like we'll cook it at home. No different. And where are you guys from? We're from Plainfield, Plainfield, New Jersey. And what's your Caribbean heritage? Jamaican. What part of Jamaica? Trelawney. Trelawney. Mary. Okay. So you guys are friends. Best friends. Oh, best friends. Let's have a group hug. Hi, I'm Mayor Warren at the Pit Stop Restaurant Barbecue Grill. Here's where it all happens. They've been a good supporter of the Caribbean Day Festival. Although COVID-19 slowed us down, we're still going to celebrate by going to the places and the faces that have supported the Caribbean Day Parade forever. It will usually be happening in Orange, right over there in Orange Park. Pit Stop would be there, but now we're here celebrating all that they give to this community. When I'm here in front of Pit Stop. You can see the customers down the street because it's such good food here. One of the proprietor's representatives is here. Sir, what's your name? Byron Smith. Mr. Smith, what is the secret of Pit Stop? The secret of Pit Stop is having our authentic Jamaican dishes serving to the Caribbean community not only Jamaican, the Caribbean community, and also Americans. 
Now, each year we have the Caribbean Day Festival in Orange Park. You guys participate. Um, it's now for time for us to come out to say thank you to you for all the support that you did in the Caribbean community. What does it mean to be able to have our heritage expression and cultural expressions in the park every year? Every year, the heritage and cultural expression, this big the card, the arm, the, I would say the different type of people that we have in the area and they come out and enjoy what the park perform, put on every year and the pit stop is always here for them to come over whenever there's not enough in the park or they just want to come to leave the park and come to pit stop. If you want to come to pit stop, what's your address? 107 Central Avenue, Orange, New Jersey. 107 Central Avenue, Orange, New Jersey, the pit stop right behind me. You can't miss it. If you can't see it, you can smell it. If you can't smell it, you can feel the aroma grab you. Um, lastly, what is your best, your favorite part of the Caribbean? My favorite part of the Caribbean, man. See it here, Jamaica, come on. <laughs> right in Jamaica. He brings an authentic style right here to Pit Stop. We're on Central Avenue. Thank you for all that you do. Happy Caribbean Day Festival to the city of Orange Township. family is the girl Amelia and we are back on Cross Caribbean Countdown in the city of Orange at the Caribbean Heritage Festival and we are here with the mayor of Orange, Mayor Dwayne D. Warren. How are you doing Mr. How are you? It's good to have Temple out here today, Caribbean Day Festival, Orange 2019. It's a good time, good food, good fun and good family. So how do you feel to be able to be celebrating the Caribbean community here in Orange? We've been doing this for 19 years, it gets bigger and bigger, better and better and when you see the cross section of people, of cultures, of colors, of music, of food, you can do nothing else but celebrate. Okay, so Mayor Warren, who are you looking forward to seeing today in the festival? You know, I saw a song to the DJs, and they play some mean music, and I stretched last night, so when I jerk and twerk, I won't hurt myself. So that's what I'm planning to do today. Uh, one of my favorite things, of course, is to eat, so I go from 10 to 10, and I do uh, a lot of eating there. Uh, my wife, my kids, my family, we all come down. This is a family day for us. Um, so it's a good time. Every I've been here, wow, 15 of the last 19 years. So. That's amazing. Do you have any Caribbean background yourself? I don't. I was born in the Caribbean section of Newark, New Jersey. And then I moved to Orange, so we've been here. Um, but I went to school with Caribbean. Uh, uh, right. People one of your okay. bosses here. We went to Rutgers Law School together. Um, so we have good roots and, and good connections to the Caribbean. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. Caribbean Kong Dong is the best Kong Dong ever. We hype, we Kong Dong from everywhere. Hey, 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 Adrian Dutch, hey, hey. big enough time for TV Guyana. Three times so, come on, on. six time road match king. And let me tell you something if you think Caribbean cross Kong Dong is something for play with, look at that, look at that, look at the cops, look at the cops. Hey, 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 what? Hey, look, 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 look. Great time on that stage earlier. I'm having a beautiful time. This show is the fourth year I'm doing it. What I love about this show is like every Caribbean country, everybody just have fun, enjoy themselves, and that's how it is. One Caribbean living in love and unity. Let me tell you something. Caribbean like a fist. You see, divided, together, we strike a mighty blow. That is beautifully said. <laughs> And you're from Guyana, right? Yes, I am from Guyana. But what I, part? I'm from Georgetown, Guyana, but I live in New York. Mm -hmm. And give me a second. Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> listen, listen. Ask me this question first and let me go run with it. <laughs> okay. Let me go run with it. What's your favorite part of the Caribbean Festival? My favorite part is being interviewed for my first time on Tempo TV. That's hey, right. I heard that voice. Follow me, follow me. Look at this, look at this, follow me. Hey, Caribbean, <laughs> run with it. Do that, do that style. Run with it. Hey, hey, hey. Balancing when we are the road. Watch me balancing. Watch me balancing. 